Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Derek Binner and Ash Paulson to discuss all the Smash Brothers updates from this past week. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is a pretty eventful week for Smash Brothers news, including a couple new stages, which we've already mostly talked about. Uh, but there's still a bunch of things we haven't talked about yet, uh, including Monday, when we see a new assist trophy being Takamaru. Um, now, initially he appeared in a Japanese-only game, but American gamers uh, may better know him from uh, Nintendo Land. <laughs> that's, just, that's at least where I know him from. Yeah. Uh, and we can see him here using the multi-directional pinwheel knife rook attack, which was apparently in the original game, and I think may have been in Nintendo Land. I can't quite remember exactly. But what do you guys think of his inclusion? I think it's pretty cool. I know there were, there were uh, quite a vocal minority of people who really wanted to talk to to be playable mm -hmm. and kind of be in that... Uh, that kind of Ice Climbers, Mr. Game & Watch, Rob tier with, with kind of uh, long-forgotten kind of B-list Nintendo characters, right. uh, classic Nintendo characters. And I, I can see why they thought, you know, he might have a deserve a space alongside the Ice Climbers and, and characters like that. But, you know, it doesn't really bother me that he's been revealed to be just an assist trophy. It, it feels fine to me, um, but I, I do feel bad for all the Takamaru fans out there. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people got talking about, oh, could uh, Takamaru appear in Smash Brothers now? Uh, once they, Nintendo announced that his original game, um, the Mysterious Mirasami Castle, I believe it is, uh, is coming to the U.S. for the first time ever, thanks to the Virtual Console. Uh, so people were like, oh, could this mean that he's going to be in the game as a playable character? And I think we were talking about it on Monday, Ash. Right away, uh, Sakurai was like, nope, just a assist trophy. <laughs> yeah, ice cold. I mean, that was really pretty, quite a troll move on Sakurai's part. I mean, he shut that down fast. Yeah, it gets back to the whole thing with how he seems to be reactive to what the community is talking about. But this is the first of multiple instances now where he either hints at something or shoots something down or just kind of trolls in general <laughs> based on some <laughs> recent news or recent you know, supposed leaks. Uh, as far as Takamaru himself, he looks like a, a interesting assist trophy because we took a look at the um, uh, trailer for it because obviously none of us have actually played his game before, um, and he has a lot of attacks from that game. Like he has uh, sword swipes, th these uh, rooks, uh, just regular knives, fireballs. So I'm wondering if it's only going to be the rooks or if he's going to actually change up his attacks and just you know send things flying every, in every direction and maybe even if they get close he'll use a sword because uh, it is out and in his hands so yeah i mean i i think he could have been interesting as a playable character just because he's a samurai and we, we don't really have a samurai in the smash brothers cast yet uh playable so i think he could have brought something unique to the cast but apparently soccer i disagreed and uh you know again i feel bad for all the takamaru fans out there but i'm perfectly happy just having him as an assist trophy uh for for those takamaru fans who are interested in, in playing the game where he originally came from the game's actually coming to Wii U and 3DS Virtual Console next week. It looks like a different type of game, like the Zelda, uh, you know, top-down view, but a lot more action-based. Right. Uh, which makes it kind of fitting that he's appearing with Link in this picture, since their play styles are kind of similar as far as their original games go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I think Takamaru, if he's popular enough as an assist trophy, could end up being like Little Mac for the next Smash Brothers game. And maybe get upgraded to you know, full character status. That's definitely possible. I think it's time for us to put together a Smash Brothers Five potential characters video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think this is the first time we've seen Tarkamaro get a updated look, other than a few cameo appearances, like in I believe he showed up in like Captain Rainbow or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he was which, in Captain Rainbow, which also didn't come out in the U.S. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh wait, no, you know he did appear in a Dynasty Warriors game in, in a as a Nintendo crossover, I think on the GameCube or something. I can't remember exactly. Huh. But he was actually playable in a Dynasty Warriors game as a guest character. Interesting if he showed up in Hyrule Warriors then <laughs> as a special unlockable. <laughs> All right, moving on to Tuesday, uh, we're back at the Paper Mario Arena, which we already had a whole discussion about. But Derek missed out on that. So let's go and get your impressions about this, uh, Derek. I was just the same as you guys. I mean, this. Oh, right, well, we're done then. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's 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 great to see that uh, the use the whole Paper Mario aesthetic and seeing it uh, transfer over. I'm really hoping some of the other games uh, get represented too, not just uh, you know Sticker Star and Thousand Year Door. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I shameful thing to admit, but the only one I've actually beaten of the entire series is Super Paper Mario. Oh, what is wrong uh, with you? I have played <laughs> up to I have played up to Rock Hawk on Thousand Year Door, but then I just you would quit stopped playing there? for whatever reason. 
Well, I beat that part, and then I stopped playing oh, at some okay. point, and yeah, I, I forget what it you. was. Yep. <laughs> so I, I want to come back to it uh, eventually, <laughs> but this is you know great opportunity, and it's great to it's a it's great to see, and I love what they're trying to do with it. And I I think even the transitions could be a lot of fun, like the paper folding. Oh yeah. Like you're maybe you're riding on top of a paper airplane as you're transitioning into the boat. Oh, that'd be cool, actually. I I, I think that'd be there's a lot of really cool things they could. Um, they could do there and especially tying back into all the transformations Mario had in Thousand Year Door. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is a ton they could do with this stage. I'm just hoping we haven't seen all of it yet. <laughs> I don't yeah. think we have. <laughs> I think this stage should be locked out of your copy and only your copy, <laughs> Derek, until you stop being a horrible person and finish the Thousand Year Door. True. <laughs> I, it's, it's it's on my bucket list. I will finish it someday. But all right. I'm, I really am hoping for like an HD remake, so I have you know a perfect excuse to go back to it. Yeah, that would look <laughs> awesome. Um, the only uh, there's just a couple more things I wanted to point out that I read from some people on our comments on our first video. Um, in the first picture, it looks like all the characters are running. Well, I mean, all the characters are running to the left, um, which, mm-hmm. which might suggest that the wind is actually coming from that direction. You know, showing yeah. it has a direct influence. I mean, it's mm-hmm. something that's kind of obvious, but we didn't touch on exactly. That's true. Yeah. Um, another thing is some people know that Mario appears to be like almost coming from like an area behind the background. There, do you see like? He, His foot is hidden behind it slightly. That's true. Yeah, so I mean, it could just be a, a clipping thing, or maybe there actually is like an area underneath there you can go to. I kind of feel like it's just the camera angle, personally. Yeah, that's what I feel like, too. Yeah, I don't think there's anything yeah. beneath that, but possibly. And then finally, in the second picture, some people suggested uh, that, you know, we already uh, equated that stage or that portion of the stage to Wind Waker. And some people thought it might be cool if you'd like crash land on or, you know, come wash ashore on, I think it was Key Hall Island in the original game. Oh, uh huh. Um, or, you know, maybe at different destinations, too. Really just taking more pages on the Wind Waker. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Which which would be awesome. I just don't know if they would go... It just seems awfully elaborate for what is really just one section of a stage. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I just kind of hope that there's a Wii U counterpart of the stage, which uses more uh, settings from the various Paper Mario games, so they can cover, you know, a, a few more settings across two stages. Oh, I, w- I would love that. Because yeah. that is probably my only complaint about this, which is, is that it's on the 3DS. Someone's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean that, you know, this stage would look amazing on the Wii U. It would, right? it would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, honestly, I think more than any others, I know you guys are Thousand Year Door fans, but I think uh, Super Paper Mario would be best represented on the Wii U, if only for the 3D switching mechanic. Alright, moving on to Wednesday, we have a picture of the boss Galaga item um, using his tractor beam. Apparently, it'll carry you away to the top of the screen, and uh, but it can be shot down. Um, but it won't join you in battle for double the firepower, says Sakurai. So, <laughs> I guess the question I have is... Does it appear as this? Like, do you just throw the boss Galaga out there? Or could this be what um, the Namco Special Flag summons? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm wondering because you see the regular Galaga ship on the bottom there. So I'm wondering right. if it starts off as a regular Galaga ship that's shooting upward at, you know, your opponents. And then the boss Galaga comes in and, and fires the tractor beam. Like, I'm wondering if it's like a whole series oh. of things that happens or what. It's, I'm not quite sure how this works. That's a good one. That actually might make some sense. And the other one is resting on the ground, which yeah. could mean that it was uh, yeah, it was already thrown, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it can be thrown again once you knock it out of the sky. It's one of those examples where we've seen so much of it, yet we still don't know exactly how it works because you know the, it could be activated by the special flag, it could be its own item. And it's interesting that it is an item and not an assist trophy. Yeah. Yeah, that does seem a little bit odd. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering mm-hmm. if how similar this item is to the beetle item, because uh, I've had some experience with that playing the game now, and that just carries you off the top of the screen for an instant KO. So it seems like this would at least act a little differently, and that you can at least stop it before that happens, but why would you do that? Unless you're playing on a team battle... You're gonna want them to carry your opponent off, right? No, I guess. Do you think this is? Will, do you think this will take you fully off the screen, or just toward the top? I think it might just take you toward the top. Maybe what it does is cancel out your like your third jump or re- you know your recovery or whatever. Yeah, I mean, maybe it just makes you a sitting duck. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't actually KO you like the beetle does. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that might make more sense. Otherwise, yeah. that might be kind of annoying having a couple items <laughs> do that. But it, <laughs> yeah. it, it is too bad that it doesn't uh, you know join you to to fire more shots, though, like in Galaga. Right, that'd be pretty awesome. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. <laughs> but I have to say, easily the best part of the screenshot is not the boss Galaga item, but the villagers who look like they're performing some sort of unholy sacrifice <laughs> of Donkey Kong. That's there. true. It's awesome. I didn't notice that, yeah. actually. That's pretty great. Well, the other 
other thing I think is interesting is that this is, you know, obviously now we have confirmation that this is indeed an item. Uh, this is the first third party item I think we've ever seen. We've, we've seen third party assist trophies, but never actual items. So I'm wondering if we'll see more representation of items in uh, for the other character, other uh, for the other third party characters. Oh, that's, you, that's a good point. I think that's a that. really good point, actually. Um, yeah. I, I guess the only yeah the the somewhat unusual thing here is this has nothing to do with any existing character in the game. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be cool if we got like some Mega Man items here. Um, I mean, yeah. an easy one to be like an E tank. I don't know how they would differentiate that from the other health recovery items. Sure. But mm -hmm. you just some some things like that though, right? Yeah, I mean you could do like the the shields from Sonic. That'd be perfect. Oh, that'd be um, that actually would be a perfect one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on to Thursday, uh, we had the Pokemon stage that we just discussed yesterday, pretty uh, pretty extensively. <laughs> so yeah, is there anything you guys have that we didn't talk, touch on yesterday? Anything else you want to do enlighten us to, or any other ideas you may have had for the stage since? Since all that time ago, no, you know, I, I've had. I mean, I feel pretty confident what I, you know, what we said the first time okay. and all that good stuff. So I think I think yeah, it's pretty here. solid on what we thought, what we think. All right, so if you want to hear our thoughts on that, make sure to check out the other discussion because we're done with it. <laughs> so let's move <laughs> yeah. on to Friday, where we get a couple of pictures of a new mode called Target Blast. And it's basically a combination of Target Smash and the Home Run Contest, um, except there's no baseball bat, and this time you're attacking a bomb. Uh, specifically, you can damage this bomb, and as soon as you start attacking it, uh, the countdown begins on it, and it appears to start from 10. And then once it reaches zero, it explodes, and it can cause a chain reaction with a whole bunch of targets and other crap on the screen. Um, so it looks like the idea is, as far as I can gather, is um, you, know, you want to damage the bomb up to a certain percent, kind of like the, uh, the sandbag. But this time, I think you might want to be able, maybe a little bit more precise with it, I guess, because you want to knock it into these targets and have its blast radius take out as many as possible. So I'm wondering if it's basically a more um, uh, tactical, this is not really tactical, but more, you know, <laughs> a little bit more thought into it than, than the home run contest. No, that's, that seems to be the case because one of the things I first thought of is like, okay, so it blows up at 10, so maybe you want to get that, you want to launch it before it reaches, you know, zero, right. obviously, but maybe you want to get it when it reaches five so we could like slide down some of these sloped uh, platforms they have in, the, in there in order to get a better, you know, positioning for when it starts the explosion. So that, that could be it. Or, I mean, they didn't say it in here, but maybe the more damage you put on it, the bigger the blast will be. Oh, um, that could be. That's what, yeah. Yeah, that, that sort of thing. But it is interesting. I think you get. I think it says you get two chances. As yeah, you get uh, the final score is the total you rack up over two rounds. So I wonder if the targets will also be replaced between rounds, or you have just a set number of targets that you want to try to get rid of. Uh, but since it seems to be more score based, I think it's just trying to get the biggest chain reaction you can between the two rounds. I think what they'll do is the. Well, I don't think they'll refresh targets between rounds. Um, I think mm -hmm. they will keep them on there. You know, however many you've cleared, they will remain that way. Um, because, you know, a big part of Target Smash before in past games was just clearing the targets out, you know, uh, strategically or how, you know, efficiently within the time limit. And I, I have a feeling that's going to be, they're going to kind of, they're trying to carry the mechanic over to this. So I mm -hmm. think you just have two chances to clear as many targets on the screen as possible. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And I don't know. I mean, if we're being patently honest here, this basically looks like Super Smash Angry Birds. <laughs> I mean, it is basically. Wow. It does. I mean, no, you're right. It kind of does. It's basically Angry Birds. And no, you're right. I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it could be fun. I'm not totally sold on this as like a big drawing point for uh, Smash Bros. 3DS, just like. Uh, or I should say not drawing point, a big draw for Smash 3DS, just because. I don't know. I like Target. Uh, I like Target Smash yeah. and Home Run Contest. And this just. I don't know. It could be fun, but it's it it says here that it, it contributes to your, your global smash power, which is kind of cool. But it doesn't really talk about that you can get other things like trophies or, or anything else like that from playing this mode. So if that's the case, and you really all you get from this is kind of your own satisfaction and and you know an increase in your global smash power, I could see myself mostly ignoring this. You know, it's hard to say for me because like Target Smash, one of those things I wouldn't think I would have played originally, assuming. I could go back in time and see a preview of that before I played it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I ended up really liking those stages as I was playing the original game. Um, That's true. Not so much in Brawl. 
Uh, just because I kind of screwed it up in that one. Um, so at this point, it's, it's hard for me to tell what it is, although you're, or, you know, how I feel about it. Your Angry Birds analogy does seem to be a surprisingly apt, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the first thing I saw when I saw this. It's like, oh, so it's Angry Birds. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting. Um, I really have no idea what to think at this point. Like, I, I do want to try it. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether it'll be fun or not. Like, you know, I liked Home Run Contest in Malay. But I played it enough then that I was done with it by the time Brawl came out. So yeah, I really, I'm not sure how much appeal like these side modes are going to hold for me these days. You know, like I primarily want to play it just for Smash Brothers. And what I did right. like about the original Target Smash was it, it still involved like your character do, you know, you're still platforming around using all yeah. of their attacks. Whereas Home Run Contest is very is a very focused affair. Um, you're, yeah. usually, you're usually only using like, you know, one or two of your character's attacks. Um, right. and not platforming at all <laughs> so <laughs> well yeah and 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 like uh you know i'm looking forward to seeing more about trophy rush because that i mean i'm addicted to trophies and, and smash games so that i mean you you very clearly get more trophies as a reward mm -hmm. this it just yeah. seems like points of reward which is not really as big of a draw for me so it's not that i'm not interested in any of the other side modes it's just a matter of what the other side modes kind of get you like we know smash run gets you trophies it gets you more power up items to your characters it gets you more equipable items stuff like that right you know we know trophy rush gets you trophies this we are not really sure not quite sure it's still a lot uh, we have to learn but it won't be much longer hopefully so yep I mean, we are now at 30 picks of the day left until the japanese oh three my episodes. only 30 <laughs> more that is only 30 that's what six more discussions for us well six more weekly discussions yeah, yeah about yeah basically yeah until the game is actually out in yeah, japan that's yeah. crazy wow I man know. Time's flying. All right. It well, sure does, yep. That'll be fun. All right. Well, I think we're done discussing all this week's Smash Brothers updates, so thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Evil Electric Discussion. Make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain, which you can find links to in the description below. It's a good way to keep up to date on everything we post. And, of course, keep an eye on GameExplain.com for more Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS and other things gaming as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.